Yeah, uh, uh, a lot of the stuff I work on is to do with a number of issues in the ethics of knowledge and communication. And that covers all sorts of different things. So it includes things like simple things like deception and, and lying, but it expands out to include things like medical ethics, particularly things like consent and informed consent. So there's lots of issues there about uh, things like you know, what sorts of things should a doctor have to tell a patient. What if a patient doesn't actually want to hear all that stuff? So you know, on the one hand, we think, well, it's terrible if uh, doctors prescribe us medicine or a surgeon does something to us without telling us what he or she's going to do. But on the other hand, when you're faced with a kind of 20-page consent form, you might think, well, you know, why do I have to read all that stuff? So there's sort of very interesting philosophical and ethical questions there about the amount of information, the kinds of information that people ought to be told, uh, and then how you square that with uh, other questions and issues about, well, you know, why do we want that information anyway, and what do we want it for? So that's one set of issues are to do with uh, informed consent. Now, there's another set of issues which I've been working on more recently, and that's to do with communication in the, the media, press ethics, media ethics, uh, and things like that. And I've got a particular interest in spin. Now, we all, we're all kind of familiar with spin, you know, spin politicians spinning and spin doctors and all that kind of thing. But uh, it's actually much harder to, to say something clearly about what spin is. Uh, spin is very interesting philosophically because, on the one hand, it's misleading and it's often meant to mislead. But on the other hand, it's truthful. So if I'm selective with the truth and I mislead you, is that as bad as lying? Am I doing something wrong? Well, it can't be the same as lying because I'm not actually lying. So what exactly you know, is spin? I mean, if I go to an interview and don't disclose the fact that I was arrested for shoplifting when I was 15, uh, or some other fact like that, you know, well, I'm, I'm not disclosing something, but is that spin? Well, you know, if, if I sort of, somebody asks me a question and I don't tell them something by way of responding, is that spin, is that ethically wrong? So there's all sorts of issues there about what spin is and why, when, and how it's wrong. Now, one of the interesting sort of, uh, sort of results or outcomes of, of that kind of work was being invited to the Leveson Inquiry, which was a, a UK government inquiry, a sort of state inquiry into the ethics of the, the press and the, the media. So the, my research is sort of led outwards rather than just uh, sort of focusing on purely sort of academic topics. It leads outwards into the, the, the wider world. I'm also quite heavily involved in uh, the, the Society for Applied Philosophy, and I'm an editor of the Journal of Applied Philosophy. So one of the things I believe is that philosophy isn't just about sort of addressing abstract issues, though they're often very interesting, very important. It's also about how you uh, apply philosophical reasoning and philosophical theories to kind of real life, worldly problems, and sort of try and make headway with philosophy in the real world.